what's for dinner. If you're new here, I'm Chelsea. We are a family of seven. Number eight's due pretty soon. And I just take you along. Sometimes I show you a full week's of meal of meals. And sometimes it's just a few nights, just depending on how I feel to film that day or not. Or if we, some nights, lately we just have fin for yourself nights sometimes, where it's just free range, eat what you want. And I've had a lot of Chick-fil-A cravings. So we've done that a few times too. But anyway, I haven't filmed one of these in, I don't know, two or three weeks. So I thought that it's time to pick up the camera and do another one. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. And in the comments below, be sure and tell me some of the dinners that you guys are having for this week. I love to get inspiration and ideas from you guys as well. So anyway, let's get to cooking. For tonight's dinner, we're gonna have like chicken sandwiches. I have buns, I had chicken, I thought why not. So this chicken is seasoned up. I had, oh, I don't even know how many pounds of chicken breast, but I cut each one in half. I seasoned it with 21 Seasoning Salute. This is from Trader Joe's. Um, garlic pepper. And then just some regular table salt. Um, and I let this cook, <clears throat> oh, it probably took what? 30, what time is it? Probably took 30 to 40 minutes I let this chicken cook. Now I'm gonna top each piece with a piece of ham and then a piece of provolone cheese and let that get hot and melty. Um, and then we'll serve it with sides. I'll show you guys when it's all done. Chicken is all melty and done. It smells so good. So we're just gonna have the chicken sandwiches, some big frozen steak fries I got from Walmart, and a pecan cranberry salad kit from there as well. And this is our dinner for tonight. All right, tonight's dinner, we're gonna make some blackened chicken and put it on tortellini with some sauce. So for the chicken, we use this blackened seasoning. I got this from Walmart. I just put some oil in my pan, seasoned each piece of chicken on both sides, and Aaron's cooking that and cutting it up so we can mix it in with the sauce and the pasta. And the tortellini is just, we did four, um, I think they're like one pound, five ounce bags from Walmart. And then I'll show you guys here in a minute when we start making the sauce. Okay, the chicken's all done and cut up. So I'm just gonna melt this butter in here with all this good chicken drippings. And then we're gonna add in some milk and some more of the blackened seasoning. I'll probably do a little bit of salt and pepper also. And then I have a little bit of mozzarella cheese. I was out of Parmesan and forgot to order more, so I'm just going to do that and get this all whisked together for our sauce. All right, here's the chicken and the sauce. I just put the chicken all back in the sauce. We're going to start serving up some plates. Oh, I would say this was what? This was about a, almost a stick and a half of butter and about three to four cups of milk and then just season it how you like. All right, you guys, and here is the finished product, the sauce, the chicken, serve it up with some biscuits or bread and some salad, and you've got dinner. Okay, for tonight's dinner, we're trying another new recipe. We're gonna make some Philly cheesesteak stuffed shells. So I have a box of these jumbo shells. I'm guessing this is around a pound, pound and a half. I was using a big five pound log, but I'm saving the rest. I'm gonna make some hamburgers for a different night this week. So I'm getting my ground beef all brown. Um, in this, I just put salt and pepper. I'm going to drain this grease here in a second. And after I drain off the grease, I'm going to add in some Worcestershire sauce and some ketchup. I will link this recipe down below so you can have exact measurements. I don't really measure, I dump. But I know some people love to measure. So I will link it down there for you guys. It sounds pretty good. Um, anyway, I'll get that mixed in. And then I'll show you guys making the sauce that goes with it. Um, we're going to need like cornstarch, milk, um, beef broth. I only had this beef bone broth so we're gonna use that it calls for cheddar cheese but I think that provolone sounds better so that's what I bought anyway and then I'm waiting for my water to boil for this and then I'm trying to decide what to serve with it what do you guys think I can't decide salad veggies I would do rice but we're having um not carbs we are having carbs pasta Natalie says broccoli we'll figure it out as we go um oh and then also you're gonna need bell peppers and onions so I just did this this is so much easier than buying and chopping and all that stuff plus I can use it for more than one recipe you'll also need butter we'll get there but anyway thought I'd go ahead and tell you guys what we were making okay I drained my grease and I don't remember the measurements like I said because I don't really measure but I will have it down for y'all so I'm just gonna squirt in some ketchup that grease is a pop in me there what's left of it I turn that down a little bit and then my Worcestershire sauce you can say that the better way if you know how and I'm almost out of this because I didn't know I needed it and so I dumped it on my hamburgers because I like to marinate hamburgers with that. And then this does not call for um, cream cheese. 
but I think that sounds good. So I'm going to cut some cream cheese into here and I'll probably add it to the sauce also because I don't know I just think of white cheese when I think of Philly cheesesteak so I'm going to do provolone and some cream cheese you can follow the recipe um, and not add this but I'm thinking just a little bit melt it in there I already added my salt and pepper so we don't need to add that again I'm just going to get this all cooked and once this it's kind of all combined. I'm going to add in some butter and some peppers. Now, the recipe will tell you to take out your meat. Talk to you guys. The recipe will say to take out your meat and then add in your pepper and your onions and your butter, if I can think. I don't follow recipes that well, and I'm like, you know what? It all is up together at the end. We're just going to dump it all in. That's just how I do things. But I'm also I decided on broccoli. Now they voted broccoli. She had the only opinion. So we're gonna serve this up with some broccoli. If you guys make this and you find something really yummy to serve it up with, let me know. And we'll try that next time. Anyway, I'm just gonna get this all combined. Then we'll get our peppers, onions, and butter in there. Okay, I again I didn't measure, I just dumped in part of my bag. You can kind of see there how much I added. I have some kids who are not fans of this type of things and some that don't mind and some that love it. So I just try to do a medium amount so everyone can be happy. And then I have stick butter. I prefer stick butter, but I also have this and I have it out. So we're just gonna dump some butter in there. I realize the butter is to saute your onion and pepper, but again, I, I don't care even normally when I really don't care big and pregnant and tired. So we're just gonna mix it up and it'll all work out and taste good we hope in the end things usually work out you know i almost forgot we also add in half of our cheese now and half of our cheese later and in the recipe they use cheddar cheese and they cube it so it looks like little cheese cubes but i'm using sliced provolone so i'm just eyeballing it and i'm just going to throw my little tears that i'm ripping off here thinking this smells freaking delicious though. Okay, I got my meat out and just set it to the side. So we're gonna start on our sauce. I am gonna go with the measurements on the sauce um, and we'll see if I feel like I need more or less of anything, but I just feel like following the measurements for this. So it's a cup of beef broth and a cup of milk. And then it's gonna be a tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm going to add in, like I said, the rest of the cream cheese. Um, and then you add in some more of your cheese. It's not quite a tablespoon. Let's get some more. Yep, definitely a cornstarch on the list. We're just going to give that a whisk. I pulled my meat out. I did not re-clean my pan because that way it'll have the flavors in there from your meat. It smells so good. Get this cream cheese in. Now, of course, because I'm adding the cream cheese, this sauce will be different than the recipes. So it might not turn out as good. We'll find out. I might mess it all up. But you know what? It'll probably taste good, even if it doesn't look the same. OK, so not the rest of my cheese, because we want some to top the shells off with. Oh, it's hard to remember new recipes. Anyway, but we're going to do another portion of the cheese pour the sauce then the rest of the cheese will pop the shells with okay my big baking dish I would have used is in the fridge with chocolate cake in it so I had to resort to some smaller ones also the recipe called for 24 shells my box was bigger I had 36 so these are shells that did not get used I'm sure a kid will eat them you can throw some butter and garlic powder on there it'll be good but here is what we have all ready to go so my sauce is done and it got nice and thick and then it sat here while I did this so a little too thick um, I have it back on warm I'm just gonna take some cheese I'm gonna grab a plain oh, shell my kids are all starving and I'm just gonna rip it apart it, like I said they use cheese cubes and they just put like a couple of cubes on each one go ahead you can have a plain noodle we don't need them for anything there's nothing in those those are plain and I'm just going to top all this and then we will ladle our sauce. Okay, I got the cheese all over it. This is our sauce. And we're just going to drizzle it. 
Well, it says to save some to serve it with it. We'll see if we end up with any left over to drizzle with it. I decided just to dump all my sauce on there. Saves me a step when serving. It'll just be saucy. So I'm going to pop this in my oven at 350 for 10 minutes and then we'll eat. All right, 10 minutes. Everything is all gooey, melty. I'm going to plate these bad boys up. All right, you guys, here they are all done with some broccoli. And this is our dinner for tonight. All right, you guys, so that is it. My camera strap was messed up. Anyway, just three dinners today, but I'm trying to keep it like unrepetitive and not show y'all every single time we have spaghetti or tacos or those type of things. So let me know if you like it this way where I only show you kind of newer things or things we don't do as often or if you would rather just see the day to day, what we eat, um, and you like it that way, let me know or maybe just either way doesn't matter to you. You can let me know that too. But I just thought for a little while it might be fun to only share newer ones or ones we don't do all the time or haven't done in a while, things like that. Um, just to keep things fresh. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. Also, let me know down in the comments some of the dinners you guys are having this week. I love to get ideas from you guys and just chit-chat down there. So anyway, we will talk to you next time. Bye, y'all.